Hey guys, JC Smith here. Today I'm working on my wife's new van. It's a 2014 Town & Country and it has stow and go seats. All right, These things are meant to actually fold up into the floor and make the floor 100% flat just like the rear. We have the rear already folded up. Okay, This seat works fine. This seat does not. Okay, What happens is that seat, well what they're supposed to do is as soon as this thing folds down it's supposed to release the latch from the rear hinges the rear locks back here so that you can fold it forward what's happening is that seat over there it will fold down it will fold down but it won't release the latches in the rear so uh, let me show you what it's supposed to do all you have to do is pull this thing right here and that's what happens and then if you have your plates out of the way the floor it folds down in all right. Now, I'll show you what's the problem with this. The way the mechanism works, as this seat comes down, it triggers, it's supposed to trigger this, this lever right here. Now, this lever is also hooked to this one right here. So when this pulls down, it's supposed to trigger this and then release the dogs. The problem is, this cable sits right in here, okay, and it's supposed to hook in this. So when you fold that seat, the cable gets pulled and stretched. All right, so you can see here what the deal is. See how all that is kind of pushed up? This part of the cable has pushed through this. This black plastic is supposed to be way up here. Alright, so now, in order to get to that, you've got to take the seat cover off, which actually is pretty simple. This is the spring-like material that goes underneath it. Here, remove that stuff. It just hooks on with three clips on each side. And then you can get to the cables. Um, <clears throat> this was obviously a fairly common problem with these because when I called the Dodge dealer, um, they knew exactly what I was looking for. It was, I mean, very, very quick. Now, there was also these trim pieces. There's a trim piece that goes here, and there's these little things that hook on here, and they're supposed to slide in and out when you stow the seat. And they were broken. Um, clip's broken here. Another clip broken on this one. This thing's supposed to hook up underneath it, and the clips are damaged here. You see the little clips right there, right, right there. They clip in the bottom side of this one, and you see there's one here. It's broken. That one's completely gone. The third one right here is completely gone. So we just ordered all of it. You know, if you'd like to have it right. I mean, it's a used van, it's not new, it's just new to us, but she'd like it to be as nice as it can be, so um, when you order the cables, you get all three cables in the, uh, in the kit. Um, the thing about the kit is there's, there's uh, instructions in here of what they want you to do, because you can see this one's been zip-tied in right there. There's actually a bulletin about these cables, and they're using a, a zip tie to hold them. I think this one's zip tied in too, but uh, we're going to replace them all, so let me get to it. Okay, so the instructions, which, you know, if you get anything from the dealer and it comes with this many pages of instructions, you figure it's going to be pretty difficult. There's something pretty technical in here, but actually it wasn't. It was very simple. Um... Probably the only thing that you wouldn't have, may not have thought of, or may not come to you right away was the fact that in order to get this cable hooked to here, you had to take this spring off because it wouldn't, this little lever with the dog on it would not give it enough travel. So that would be the only thing that may have been, you know, a little bit, um, may have taken a little time to figure out. The zip tie is to zip tie all three of them back together here so they're not moving around. So uh, I got it all in. 
and before I go ahead and put everything back to get it tested and see if it works so you pull this there she goes okay so it's all back together what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to be able to pull this and the top will fold down and it releases so it does what it's supposed to do so we can put it all back together before it wouldn't release the hinge back here that was the problem so let's see set that back up everything's in the lock position now we can put the the stretchy material back across here and then put the leather on One thing I failed to mention, um, this cover needs to go on top of the spring and cable mechanisms. It should have went in before the, the stretching material went in and all that. But, you know, I took this apart a few days ago, completely forgot about this thing. So, it looks like I can slide it down in here anyways. Looks like it'll go in okay. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Got a little ear right here to tuck under. Yeah, there you go. It'll go in. And then there's just the, the hook in the rear. It hooks at the bottom. And then there's one screw that goes right in here. Um, you can see the hook right here. It hooks on the bottom of the seat frame, just like so. Just like that. You see how the hook goes right in there? And then you put in your one screw. Again, I forgot about it. Um, I took this apart a few days ago when I ordered the parts, and uh, yeah, I just completely forgot about it. But uh, not a big deal. I can get it in there. So I'll have to go get the right Torx bit again. I think it was a T15, I believe. But uh, we'll get it in there. And then we'll show you how it works all back together. Drop my screwdriver down the track, it wouldn't be good. Yep. Okay, I'm in the bottom. Yeah, I'll tighten it up, I'll show you how it works. Alright, take the time to get the foam in here just right. It'll be well worth it because everything will go back together much easier. Um, there's like little corners. It's easier to see right here. You can see how the, the foam goes around stuff here. So you want to make sure you get it just right, because it'll go together so much easier. Okay, that's the foam's in. So now I need to get the leather. This is what holds this in the back. Okay, it hooks back there, so it's important that this gets in. Also, this leather is, if you listen, it's Velcroed to the foam right in here. Right, so you want to make sure you get this pulled where you want it so it's nice and taut but not stretched and get it where it goes before you try and put this in because if this goes to the back and you don't have this right this is too short so what I'm gonna do is take this loose from the foam I'll pull it where I believe it needs to go because I've already had this loose once and uh, I'll put it where it goes and then we'll fish this down between the two seats and hook it up all right, under the front, the leather, is this channel. All right, the way this channel works is it's like this right now. You fold this up twice, and then it hooks on the little metal channel right here. I'll show you on this side because I've already got it in. See how it's very difficult to explain, but 
there is the channel right there and it hooks on the bottom of the seat. You can see the little clips right here where it's metal that's bent out. All right. So what you have is this channel right here, easier to see like that, has to fold up and under twice. Okay, it has to go from here, up, and then back up one more time to be in. Very hard to see. But to be in that orientation so it can be clicked on. So you have to pull on this leather a good bit. First, we want to make sure we got it tucked back behind here. This goes, this retainer plastic goes through this. So we want to make sure we got that pulled out. Set that down in here. Kind of difficult to do one handed. And then tuck the leather down like so. And then I'll push, I'll push down on this seat cushion while I'm doing this to get it to go in. And I can't do this and hold the camera, so let me get it done. Okay, so there it is. You can see there's some wrinkles here, but there's also some in this one. So I think I've got it good because everything lines up the way it's supposed to. Um, it may just be that, you know, it has a little bit of a stretch to it. You can actually see some wrinkles look like they've been there for a while so I'm gonna call that good I'm not an upholstery guy you know but uh, this was fairly straightforward not too difficult of course um, I think total is about 45 minutes it took to tear it apart figure out what's going on and then get to this point okay so here's the other piece um, this comes as one unit there's four pieces to this this is um, well, they had a hard time finding this, so if you guys need this for your for your van, there's a part number for it. What it's supposed to do is when the seats, the seats are in the upright position, it covers up this void. There's an empty spot right here, okay? Because when they fold, what happens is the backrest slides, it comes down, the, hin the rear hin latch lets loose, it hinges up, and as it does, it slides in okay so what happens is it slides over this way and these things that's grease assembly lube or something um, from the factory these slide into here on either side so that it has the ability to slide in and fold in the floor now we'll keep these things folded down most of the time um, my wife uh, likes to keep them folded down because we have two boxers she also likes to keep a broom in here in case, you know, I get it dirty. It's never her, it's always me. And it's black carpet. But this will be your typical grandma van. She'll have, she's already went and got rugs. So we got two of these thick rugs here she'll put down. She'll put those at the, over top the floor mat. So it'll be carpet floor mat rug extra rugs you know she likes to keep her stuff nice all right so here it is all finished up ironically my wife wanted this to work correctly which i get it you know it's uh she likes things to be nice that's just how it is uh so the seat works i made sure it's secure it works properly everything's safe uh and then of course uh you see what's here is this is the base for the baby seat for our grandbaby so um this thing will probably not come out of here uh for a long time and then it'll go to the the uh, once she's out of that she'll go to a different car seat for a while so this it'll probably hold a car seat forever so it'll be years before we, we need to fold that thing in there but she wanted to work right and i get it and i'm happy with that but you can see what i was telling you exactly what she did there's the carpet there's the factory style floor mats there's her rug and there's yet another floor mat and of course she put went and got a black towel and bought that and put it underneath the baby seat so if anything spills or rubs or whatever it can rub on the towel and not the leather uh, I guess it's just what grandmas do but anyhow 
So this is our granddaughter's seat for the next however long until either A, we get rid of the van and get another one, or she's out of a car seat. But uh, anyways, if you guys have that same problem, um, don't be intimidated. It was a very, very simple fix. It didn't take me long. Uh, the instructions that come with it pretty much outline everything you need to do on the way back together. It was very simple to do. So uh, I did end up taking the leather back out, taking it loose, and I smoothed it back, and I got it to look just like this one um, they look identical now so um, I was happy with that so there you go if you like what we're doing give us that thumbs up if you haven't already hit that subscribe button guys and we will catch you on the next one